supposed to be for Van K. Smith. Hey, mister, how do we share the same bloodline and you still don't know me? How could I come from you but you have no idea who I am? Uh, for over 80 years, this organization has helped people like Brian bring their stories to life. Good morning, Brian. Would you like to join the other guys for um, activity? No. Why? Because I would like to do something special for my mom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Brian's story is uh, its unique and it's common at the same time. My mother has always been there. For the past 22 years, she's been taking the place of you. I have scraped my knee without you, going through girlfriends without you. I have evolved without you. My brother has evolved without you. He's learned to be a man without you. It's sad because he's a spinning image of you. Yeah, I got somebody just walked in, and um, I'll call you back in a, in a few minutes. I just hung up on the executive director for you. This better be good, all right? It is good. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, man. All right, I'm going to sign this. Take this up to Tom. And I'll meet you up front in 15 minutes. Okay. There you go. Yes, I, out. I do what I do because I want to help people. The work that we do uh, makes us all better individuals. You come to graduation like it's okay after all the birthday cakes you miss, all the candles you miss being blown. I can't speak for him. But it's never going to be okay with me. Hey. What is it? Ready. Whoa. Ten dollars? Yes, ten dollars. Okay. You can't be cheap, man. Thank you. You got to give me bad change, okay? I only got 20 here. Okay. You got to bring bad change, okay? Autonomy and choice for both the, the individuals that come and the staff is what really makes this program, uh, it makes it unique. It makes it dynamic and vibrant. And I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of it. I remember this. Waiting on that chair and when you came, you said you only had your room for Michael. You said, Maybe next time, but next time never came. It's not my fault that I'm like this. It's your fault for not accepting me. The horn never works, but it's always fun to ring. We need to, we need to put on the coat. You could have picked up the phone and called because I've only been around for 22 years. I know you could speak, you know the number. And it's kind of messed up that Ty has stepped up before you have. He's been a role model for me. There's only one code here. And that is, when someone needs help, you you get in there, you roll up your sleeves, and, and you get to work. People say, oh, isn't it um, sad or isn't it depressing? Um, you know, you're dealing with people and they're, you know, they can't do this or they can't do that. I don't see any of that. I see what they can do. I see how their spirit energizes me. The poem is about my biological father. He's supposed to be there to support me, but he ain't. I always felt like my brother would come first before me because he was the walking one. And um, 
the one in the chair. Even though he's hurt me, I'm not gonna have the rest of the world turn on him because I still have hope that he's gonna one day turn around. Even if he doesn't, I'm gonna still become the man I want to be. And still reach for my dreams. All right, man, let's go. I think that um, the work that we do, uh, it's not going to get you in the newspapers. It's not going to uh, get you on the movie screen. But just doing the simple things for somebody else, uh, that's what really gives life uh, meaning and, and value. A lot of praise go to my mom because in the beginning of my life, they used to tell her, why did you have a son like that? You should have just put him in a group home or something. Ryan, what's up, Ryan? Excuse me. What's up? You want anything else? Like he would never amount to anything. But she just turned her head and tried to raise me right. And I thank her for sticking up for me when I couldn't stick up for myself. And for those people, I like to say, they had me now. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you. All right, man, here we go. Seeing and helping people who, despite their condition, their limitations, have such a vitality of spirit and energy and a vigor, and they're out there pursuing their dreams and making sure that the world respects them and treats them as equals. In the face of that, it's very difficult to feel sorry for yourself. Knowing him has made me better. I'm Brian Smith, poet, and sometimes storyteller. I'm just trying to inspire the people that are in wheelchairs, that are in my position, that just because you're in the wheelchair doesn't mean you don't have a brain or something like that. I'm just trying to get them the courage to go out there and reach for the stars like I'm trying to. If it touches just one person, I've done my job. I've did what I set out to do. All right? All right. Yeah. <laughs>